Welcome to this new video and in this video I want to do a comparison between the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro against the Honor 50, both mid-range flagship devices I would say. And let's get started. So let's take a look first of all at the design. So this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro, as you can see here, beautiful design in this yeah, orange glowing like finish. It is a glass bag. We have a Redmi logo here. We have a CE stamp as well. And we have a nice camera bump with the main camera here in this accent color. Uh, we have some focus assist lights and of course an LED flash. Now let's take a look around the device. We have some nice clicky buttons. Uh, this is the volume rocker and this is the power button and fingerprint reader. So I can just simply unlock the device by tapping here. And this is very quickly uh, done, easily done. And it's in a good position for left and it's in a good position for right hand users. And you can see the unlock works all the time. Let's take a look at the beautiful screen. It's in 6.67 inch sized um, screen with uh, full HD resolution, 1080 by 2400 pixels. And it has a nice selfie cam here as well embedded. As, but as you can see here, especially if I open up like a file manager or something like this, you can see that there is a nice, uh, the, the camera is like doing a bit of hiding playing by using a silver ring around it, which is not the case on the Honor 50, as you can see in a few seconds. So this is a gorgeous screen here. And let's take a look at the Honor 50. We have also a gorgeous design. This is a snowflake design. I think you can see this little crystals here. We have the Honor logo. There is no CE. Um, stamp yet. I think it will come hopefully to Europe as well. We have a nice silver ring again around the main camera, 108 mega cam uh, megapixel camera. And the camera bump is slightly thinner than on, at least it feels slightly thinner than on the two stage. You can see here two stage. There's one stage for the sensors and another one for the um, actual camera. And we only have like we have this two stages as well here a bit you can see here this is another one stage and then we have the camera lenses but this looks a bit more attractive to me than on the redmi i have to say but you can write down in the comments what you think let's take a look at around the device we have the volume rocker we have the power button not a fingerprint reader just a power button as you can see here it is only turning on the device and it's unlocking right now because I have my face here. If I cover my face, as you can see here, this is the lock screen. And uh, I have a fingerprint reader inside of this beautiful, gorgeous 6.57 inch sized uh, screen. Um, also 1080p resolution, 1080 by 2340 in this case. So this is the big difference. Another big difference is you can see that this front camera looks a bit bigger than on the Xiaomi. In fact, I'm not sure. I think the Xiaomi is like cheating a bit by having a silver ring around it, which makes it a little bit bigger. So if you, uh, uh, makes it a little bit smaller actually looking. But in fact, if I would edit out the silver ring, probably we would have the same black uh, hole uh, that we are staring on, into right now on the Honor 50. So this is the design department. Let's take a look at the Redmi again. What do we have in terms of connections? We have one specialty. First of all, we have a headphone jack. You cannot find a headphone jack on flagships anymore, but on mid-rangers they are common. So it's very nice to have a nice headphone jack here. We have a microphone and we have an infrared blaster. Also not very common on mid-rangers, but good to have here. A loudspeaker here. And at the bottom, then we have USB Type-C, another microphone. USB Type-C is 2.0 only. As you can see here, two loudspeakers. That means we have stereo sound, which is pretty nice. And we come to in a second. Then let's take a look at the Honor 50 and its setup. First of all, at the top, we only have two 
microphone holes here. Don't think this is an infrared blaster, it's a microphone hole. And at the bottom we have SIM tray, a microphone hole, USB Type-C, also 2.0 and a loudspeaker. So this one only has a single loudspeaker. The front grille here, the earpiece is not firing up or not acting as a speaker. Where do we have the SIM tray on the Xiaomi? The SIM tray we have on the left side, as you can see here. Both have the capabilities to have multi-SIM support, but the Xiaomi supports also microSD expansion, which is pretty nice and cool. What I want to do right now is do a sound test to show you how different the sound can be when we are playing back a bit of music. So I have the uh, non-copyright music here and I will open it up on the Honor 50 as well. So let's listen to something on the Redmi Note 10 Pro first. I'll put it maybe in this kind of position and go a bit closer with my microphone so you can hear what is going on. Oops, what's going on? So let's play back uh, this year, for example. Make it like 80%. Very good loudspeaker, I have to say. Very loud for mid-range device. It's like almost uh, impossible to get such good loudspeakers. Very, very good stereo effect. We have nice bass. We have uh, good loudness. We have good mid-range, uh, not the best, a bit lower. The highs are also okay-ish. The bass is like a bit maybe too strong, but uh, in general, good loudspeakers. Let's check out the Honor 50, which only has one loudspeaker. I think this is enough. What you can clearly hear is there's more bass on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and hands down the speaker on the Honor 50 is also pretty loud but it doesn't have the same quality of the dual speaker and more bass on this um, Redmi Note 10 Pro which sounds a bit better and it sounds a bit more tinny on the Honor 50 even though it gets very loud and I think the, the highs are, the, are definitely better on the Honor 50 but the bass is lacking. And here we have not so good highs, but better bass. And I have to say, if I listen to them side by side, I like the Redmi Note 10 Pro better because it sounds fuller, simply because you have those two speakers here at the side and because of the bass. Let's talk about system specifications. We have AIDA64 here and we can take a look at the CPU. We can see that we have a slightly less powerful CPU on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, which is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G. And here we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G, which in theory should be the faster device. And also in practice, I can tell you it is the faster device. This is 8 nanometers, this is 6 nanometers. This means also a little bit more, uh, less power usage on the Honor 50 than on 
the Redmi Note 10 Pro, but you don't notice that so much because the Redmi Note 10 Pro comes with the 5020 milliampere hours battery and the Honor 50 only 4300 milliampere hours battery. So the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a longer battery life even than the Honor 50. When it comes to other specifications, we have 8 GB here by default on Honor 50. We have 6 GB starting point for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. You can get, of course, an 8 GB version as well, but this is uh, basically what we have inside of here. Uh, let's talk about the display again a little bit, because we will see that under display settings that we will have also the possibility to turn on here we have refresh rate, a 120 hertz refresh rate, and here we can have dynamic refresh rate. So the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 120 hertz refresh rate where it stays at 120 hertz. The Honor 50, however, has a dynamic option besides the static option. So you can also say, I want always 120 hertz, or you can say switch dynamically. What I have to say, the Redmi Note 10 Pro doesn't have this option, but it actually does it. So if you open up the YouTube app and some games, for example, it will go back to 60 hertz and will fall back to 60 hertz. So, uh, for example, one app is the uh, YouTube app that, by the way, you can see the processing speed as well. If I'm opening up the YouTube app, it's faster on the Honor 50. Uh, that here it's 60 hertz. You can notice sometimes also a lag and stutter, not on the YouTube app in, in particular, but on other apps like Reddit or something like this, that it stutters sometimes on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. It doesn't keep up. I'm not sure if it is because it's switching to the 60 hertz or because of other issues. Uh, you don't have such issue, besides the loading issue maybe here, on the uh, Honor 50. I didn't notice anything like this on the Honor 50. Both are slippery devices as you can see here. If I try to do the gestures it's just slipping around. Let's open up Reddit to see how quick they are in opening up Reddit and you can see that yeah almost at the same time but in terms of loading times the Honor 50 yeah is a bit quicker. It might be because also there's more memory but the processor in general I think is more advanced it is more powerful than on the redmi and in every day-to-day -day usage you will not notice that as much but only if you have the devices side by side you will see ah oh, this is a bit more stuttery than the honor 50 is it a big deal all in all for the prices that those are apart from each other this is around 400 to 450 euros this is around 280 to 330 euros nothing to complain I have to say. This is a 4G only device the Xiaomi and this is already a 5G device so you have the possibility to use 5G if it's available in your country. So this is the short little speed comparison. What I will do right now is open up KineMaster and I have KineMaster here installed as well and we have on both devices the same project and we will export it now. So I can show you the true power of this uh, processor. So you can see this is the same project here, a nice test project where I was running around uh, doing some multi-video thing. What I will do is on both, we will go to the export option and we will export it in full HD 30 frames per second to keep it fair and square. Uh, so let's do this somehow. One, two and three. So as you can see, it is basically no comparison. The Honor 50 is uh, blazingly fast in comparison to the Redmi Note 10 Pro. But around the middle, I think the Redmi can keep up and get a bit quicker as well. And as you can see here, around the end, the Redmi, I think, was faster than the Honor 50. So very interesting indeed. I'm not sure why it is, but they are on par when it comes to rendering and render times of videos and I hit this all the time. So the um, Honor 50 has a quick start always in, when it comes to rendering stuff but then slows down a bit and the Redmi like keeps up and it gets the win here and most of the time the Honor wins in this case the Redmi won but uh, they are very it's basically indistinguishable. Uh, in between each other, which is, I think, also a pretty good thing.
So now that I praised the Redmi so much, what we want to do is taking a look at the camera system of those uh, phones. So first we start with the selfie camera on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. We have a 16 megapixel selfie camera with an f2.5 aperture and a sensor size of 1 over 306 inch and uh, this camera can record in 1080p 30 frames per second or 120 frames per second but then only in 720p. So let's take a selfie and uh, take a look how this uh, looks like. So I will take a selfie of me. This is why the film is gone now. And this is the selfie that I took. And now let's take a look at the Honor 50. This one has uh, double the selfie uh, megapixel camera size pixel, 32 megapixels, f2.2 larger aperture a bit and a sensor which is a bit smaller with a 1 over 3 1 4 inch sized sensor it can record in 1080p 30 frames per second um, didn't see any slow motion option for it, this one so let's take a selfie with this one as well by the way this is the camera application also very similar to each other and uh, let's try to replicate it if i go to the selfie it goes directly into portrait mode i don't want this to make it fair and square okay and of course this one has flip on for some reason so you can see the um, selfie now flipped and what we can see directly on first glance i don't have to show those pictures for for you on screen I will do of course but what you can see first glance is there's a lot more high dynamic range on the honor phone so we have we don't have the um the background blown out you can see a little bit of the houses outside of the window we don't have this feature on the redmi when i zoom in as well you can see that my face here is a lot sharper on the um honor phone on the redmi yeah there's more contrast to it but it's not sharper it is yeah which is what it is it is really a 60 megapixel uh, shooter that is not very good and i like the uh, honor which is like has a good sharpness and yeah it, the, the skin color looks a bit too uh, something that you have to edit a little bit out because contrast is missing and the contrast on the redmi is far too much so this is for the selfie cams and when it comes to recording something i will do this now and i will show you the recordings so this is a recording with the uh, xiaomi redmi note 10 pro's front facing camera 1080p 30 frames per second is the maximum that you can get out of the 16 megapixel sensor what about high dynamic range so if i go move here to the window it is overexposing keeping a nice exposure on my face which i like and how is the sound quality this is the default microphones that i use and the default camera application uh, no microphone attached uh, this is the front facing camera how's stabilization if i walk a little bit uh is it really stabilized i have the feeling that it doesn't have stabilization on the front facing camera but uh, let's see how the honor does so this is now recording with the honor 50 1080p front facing camera 32 megapixel selfie cam how does this look like is it uh, keeping the exposure on my face it is there is like the highlights blown out in the background so it doesn't have really good hdr how's the quality i think it is good it is fine it looks a bit brighter on screen in regards or in comparison to the xiaomi redmi note 10 pro how is stabilization is there any stabilization i think uh, honor just like huawei in previous versions has good stabilization and this one should be a lot more stable than the xiaomi and uh, i think i like this one a bit better because it has a wide angle feature so this is the wide angle i can also zoom in uh, at one times which looks like this but the wide angle feature i like it and it could be also because of this wide angle i can use this probably also for vlogging on the honor 50 and by the way i'm using the microphones the internal microphones on the honor 50 how's the quality there 
uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, let me quickly tell you about the main cameras on the back. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 108 megapixel, there you go, 108 megapixel uh, sensor, the main sensor f1.9, 26 millimeter, 1 over 1.52 inch sized sensor, a dual pixel autofocus and then it has an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle with 118 degrees uh, field of view and it is a 1 over 4 inch sized sensor then it has two yeah almost useless sensors but one i think is very useful it's the 5 megapixel macro uh, sensor here macro lens with autofocus so this can be used for macro shots and it worked quite nice in my tests and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. LED flash, of course, and some other laser sensors probably as well inside of here, or color calibration sensors. We have 4K 30 frames per second on the main lens and uh, 1080p in 30 or 60 frames per second. The 4K only works on the main lens. Let's come to the Honor 50. And the Honor 50 also has a main camera lens, uh, lens or a main camera sensor. Uh, it's basically the same 108 megapixel f 1.9 uh, wide angle lens uh, 1 over 1.52 inch sized sensor with with face detection autofocus so it is basically the same sensor even it's a samsung sensor uh, that both use we have an 8 megapixel main ultra wide angle with 120 degrees field of view 17 millimeters and uh, then we have two useless sensors there and there which are 2 megapixel macro without autofocus and 2, 2 megapixel depth sensor. We have again 4K 30 frames per second and 1080p uh, 30 or 60 frames per second only available on the ultra wide angle and uh, the 4K, uh, the other way around, 4K 30 frames per second only available here on the uh, main camera. So, yeah. Let's go out and let's see which one of those has the better yeah, overall look in photos and videos because both are pretty much using the same camera sensors. Then it all depends on software who will win here. So now camera comparison between the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro and the Honor 50 that I have here in my back pocket with the case on. And how is focusing? I think focusing should be fine. This is the case as you can see here. And you can also see the screen itself, also gorgeous. Uh, focusing should work fine. How's the background blur? How are the colors? How is stabilization on the main 108 megapixel camera of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro? Just tell me it in the comment section. Otherwise, I will check out the ultra wide angle right now, but the ultra wide angle I cannot switch to. I have to stop the recording and restart it with the ultra wide angle. So let's do this. Uh, now, same position and the ultra wide angle how's the ultra wide angle i think it is more stable it is good for this good lighting conditions if it gets a bit dark it gets very grainy so not the best for dark conditions so i would recommend you to use the main camera sensor that has a nicer black background blur anyway and uh, this is the ultra wide angle on the redmi note 10 pro same position same camera sensor but different phone the honor 50 is in use right now and this is the main camera sensor on the honor 50s uh, back side and how it's focusing how is stabilization how are colors this is my mate 40 pro with its nice back cover and a broken camera bump as you might see so focusing should hopefully work fine and how is the image quality in comparison to the redmi note 10 pro you decide, write it down in the comment section. Let's check out the ultra wide angle. For this, again, I have to stop the recording. I cannot switch dynamically into the ultra wide angle. This is now the ultra wide angle on the Honor 50. You can see it's much, much wider. It is like two degrees wider than on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So can you really see it? I really don't know, but this is the quality. This is the stabilization that you can that you will get with the Honor 50. And I think both do a good job. Which one has the better focusing, better colors and better rendition? Just write it down in the comment section. 
So this is now recording with both back facing cameras. I'm looking into the Honor 50 right now, now in the Redmi Note 10 Pro and we can do a side by side comparison between those two. Which camera should I look into? Maybe I'll do it like this. Ah, it will look a bit weird. So which one has the better colors? Which one has the better stabilization? You decide. I have them both on a selfie stick and only one. The Honor 50 is plugged in in terms of audio so I cannot switch between the audio to the Redmi. But uh, yeah, you can tell me which one you prefer in terms of colors in this uh, vlogging test. Which one is better when it comes to vlogging? And uh, both now in the ultra wide angle mode. So this is the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle. Which one has the better colors? Which one has the better rendition? Let's go maybe a bit into the shadows so the sun is not uh, giving any trouble for those cameras and it's fair and square. So which one has the better color rendition? Which one has the better stabilization? Write it down in the comment section. Uh, the Honor 50 or the Redmi Note 10 Pro, which one has also the f wider field of view, would be also interesting to know. No? Here we see on the left the Redmi Note 10 Pro and on the right we can see the Honor 50. Interesting is that they're using the same camera sensor, so the only thing that is different here is the processing. And what we can see here from the first photo is that they're very, very similar. Even color renditions and colors are very similar. There's maybe slightly less powerful colors on the Honor 50. When we zoom in, let's see the details. So much details that you can see here. When we zoom in on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, we have the same. But you can see a slightly different kind of color rendition, I would say. A bit of slightly also different uh, kind of focusing. You can see that the flower is more in focus here, the front of the flower, the leaf is more in focus and uh, the Redmi has like this not in focus so much. In terms of colors it looks pretty similar which is interesting because the Redmi has in video mode at least very boosted colors and high contrast which is lacking on the Honor 50 which has more natural colors. But also I think slightly a little bit less dynamic range which is also interesting because the front facing cameras they had exactly um, the opposite or exactly the, the high dynamic range was on the Honor. Let's check another flower here and again almost the same but here we can see a difference. So we can see the more natural colors on the Honor 50. You can see the background here, the fence, which is a bit of green, that's true. And here it's a bit too dark on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So the Redmi Note 10 Pro has some kind of, yeah, mm, more contrasty look. And you can see also that the colors are slightly different, a very subtle difference. Uh, when it comes to sharpness, I think the Honor 50 has nailed it a little bit better. Maybe the focus choosing point was more up here and here it was more down there. And uh, yeah, it looks very astonishing on both. We can see here, how does this look? Very, very similar. Uh, a bit more soft on the Redmi, a bit more sharp. Maybe sharpening applied, I don't know, on the Honor. And in general, you can see it's a bit brighter on the Honor. And it has yeah, not so much of a contrasty look, which you can see here on the Redmi. And when we take a look at the next photo, you can see clearly that the Redmi has some kind of advantage in terms of HDR. At least when I used the Honor, it did not kick in HDR as much as the Redmi did. You can see here the Redmi has a sharpening applied. You can see it clearly if I go here in the Honor. it also is applied but uh, yeah, it almost looks the same maybe not a tiny bit not so aggressive as on the Redmi and what I also did is take another shot here with the um, HDR enabled on the Honor 50 because you have a special mode even if you have AI enabled in this case it did not fire the HDR on the Honor 50 so I enabled HDR manually in the setting with via the HDR mode and it's merely indistinguishable now uh, from each other. You can see if I zoom in here to this, the only thing that I see is like the Honor 50 is slightly softer so it 
doesn't have so much sharpness applied because on the Redmi there's a lot more sharpness applied and a bit of more contrasty look take a look at this building here and how the edges look like and take a look here it is more hazy here more natural here on the honor 50 and a little bit more darker more contrasty on and also the, the 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 greens here the leaves of the trees more contrasty more darkish than on a, on a 50 this could be also the hdr algorithm being a bit different but this is in general what you can get in terms of colors do we see any difference i have to say when i was doing those shots on the honor display it looked more natural and it looked so boosted on the redmi note 10 pro which might have something to do with the default calibration of the uh, display and what I have to say is what I can see here on my computer now is, has nothing to do with what I saw when I was taking the shot with the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So this is a slight critique on this. We take a look at the colors and the sharpness. I think yeah, it's almost no difference. A bit brighter on the um, Redmi, a bit darkish. And in this times, I think also a bit more contrast on the honor well, the sharpness was not the same uh, on the same point apparently and uh, we can see also a bit more of yellow going on here in the background you can see a bit of yellow from the sun coming in and do we see this here it's very very subtle i would say on the redmi so yeah basically almost indistinguishable when it comes to photos and uh, do we have something else here? Yeah, super wide angle shot as well to see the difference here. And again, it is that the Redmi Note 10 Pro with the super wide angle created um, yeah, a more pleasing to the eyes, but more contrasty look. A bit too over sharpened in my taste, I would say, and a bit too much contrast maybe added. You can see it's very, very dark. And here it's a bit more hazy, not too much uh, contrast added, not too much sharpening added, which makes it a bit more natural on the Honor 50, I have to say. You can see here the sun flare going uh, on, which you don't see here. It is also, I think, a bit, a bit cooler in general. The, um, a bit warmer in general the the shot here on the honor 50 and a bit more toned down on the redmi and uh, do we have anything else uh, we have a two times zoom shot to also see how those things behave if i virtually crop in or in this case use the two times zoom which is nothing else than virtually cropping in uh, to the frame and here you can see how much sharpening is applied on the Redmi Note 10 Pro because it's just simply yeah, cropping into the sensor. I'm not sure if it is adding extra sharpness if you do this but uh, let's check the Honor far less as you can see here it looks more it is still that is a bit of sharpness applied but it's looking so much more lively and real uh, that <laughs> It's almost unreal so you can see the colors here and everything is like so unreal on the redmi and you can see the sharpening it's not a pleasant picture to look at it's not a pleasant uh, pleasant flower in any way but it's so much sharpening applied that uh, we don't see this on the honor the honor has the more natural photo and you can see also the background again lots of contrast added as well and here the honor just outperforms the a Redmi Note 10 Pro uh, in terms of colors. So one thing that is very, very important, what is the conclusion now after I saw all the shots? I think this is the next one. Ah, there's another one. Uh, the conclusion is that the Redmi Note 10 Pro and the Honor 50 almost have the same kind of shots, but the Redmi is adding some more contrast to it, some more sharpening to it, which is it it creates a more artificial kind of picture the honor a more picture that is more true to life but if you zoom out the honor uh, picture might be not so pleasing to the eyes and the redmi has the more pleasing to the eyes look um, also here almost almost indistinguishable uh, in terms of uh, what, what can you expect it's almost this is the same sensor there's just like where's the focus point set and uh, I think uh, the focus point was set here and here. I'm not sure, maybe there somewhere in the background you can see that the, the bokeh is a bit more 
uh, noisy I would say here or busy than on the uh, Redmi but that's also almost indistinguishable from each other in terms of colors uh, there's a slight boost of contrast again um, so in general uh, don't be um, completely set off by the uh, red uh, redmi note 10 pro on the display because the display is calibrated to punch make everything so much punchy that uh, even if you put the Honor photos on the Redmi display, they look so much punchy, punchier than on the Honor 50's uh, default uh, calibration of colors that, um, yeah, both are doing basically the same job. And then it is like very slight, subtle changes in uh, terms of contrast and uh, sharpening applied. So the more natural shots you get with the Honor 50, a bit better HDR you get on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Um, but in general I like the photos of the Honor 50 a little bit more than on the Redmi Note 10 Pro but what do you think? Write it down in the comment section that's everything for this uh, photo comparison this is everything for this video and comparison between the Honor 50 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro. Which one is the overall winner? Just write it down in the comment section I'm very interested to read what your opinion is and then which one has the better camera system the honor 50 or the xiaomi redmi note 10 pro write it down in the comment section as well which one has the better colors stabilization more punchy colors uh, more realistic colors write it all down in the comment section and this is everything for this video and this comparison if you like this video hit the like button otherwise subscribe it's important for you to subscribe so i can reach out to companies to send me stuff so i don't have to buy it on my own i almost have four five thousand subscribers so it would be very nice if you can subscribe and also click the bell icon so you get notified about new videos and this is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye